Not since ancient times have Christians been persecuted as they're persecuted today. In America, a decent Christian who wishes a fellow decent Christian a Happy Easter or Merry Christmas can get kicked or spat on. In the United Kingdom, he might be pelted with bottles of Marmite. His children might be deported to Guatemala, Honduras, or some other third world shithole in which the child will forget how to speak English, the language of Jesus Christ. It is the moral duty of all pinky Christians to fight back, and fight back we shall, in the pastures, in the parking lots. At sea, they have the guns, but we have the handcuffs and the violet wands, the whips and the dungeons. Enhanced interrogation? You don't know what enhanced interrogation is until you've been interrogated by an experienced Welsh pro-dom with two special needs children and an alcoholic husband. But far more important, we have Jesus. Smite thine enemies, for they are mine too. Amphibians 2024. We shall kidnap them, one apostate at a time and bring them to our dungeons, and there smite them a treat until they welcome Jesus as their Lord and Savior. The churches of the land will fill with people unable to sit comfortably for the beatings they've endured, but whose hearts will abound forevermore with Jesus' love. Jesus's not being a very easy thing to say, what with all his siblings, it's almost like a, a swarm of bees buzzing around the hive. Jesus's, Jesus's. But say it you must, and from bees you shall get honey. Caesareans 11.14 As for the practice of spreading honey, or for that matter, marmite, men making your slave lick it all off. It's not something that appeals to me, but hey, I'm not condemning it. <laughs>